So today we're going to talk about Fibonacci, right? So how we can use Fibonacci in tradings to find out the retracement level, daily bias, and then the key level, and also uh, the potential continuation and potential reversal from the chart. So how can we use Fibonacci in trading here? So if we go to trading view on the left, you guys can see this column right here. So the third one is about all about Fibonacci right here. So we only using uh, the classic one, which is the Fibonacci retracement, right? We are only using the Fibonacci retracement. If you put it up, uh, you guys can see it's very clear with all the level that we have from one, all right, 0 0.786, 0 0.618, 0 0.5, 0 0.3, 82, and then 0 0.236, and then zero, all right? Zero to one is about the retracement level of the price actions retracement level of the trend so if you guys want to edit the color you guys can double click it and basically you can edit the color right here i'm just using black here and i did not change any setting from the trading view so that's about it and uh how we can really use it in the trading in the chart so first thing first it need to be right from the top to the bottom of a trend so it can be a downtrend retracing toward the upside so all a uptrend reversing to the downside so two example right here so how can we do that is we always measure from the top to the bottom of the retracement right always from the top to the bottom of the retracement or from the bottom to the top so if downtrend then you measure from the top to the bottom and if it's an uptrend measure from the bottom to the top here all right so that's basically the different right here so right now uh i want to just simply explain about the level right here so when the up uh, from, when the downtrend came down and then retraced back so this level is the first level it tapping right this level here is the first level it's tapping 0 0.236 is the level of the price first tapping right so whenever the price broke the first level 0 0.236 it means that a retracement is starting is starting up right whenever it broke the price uh level of 0 0.236 whenever the price broke 0 0.236 retracement level it means it can be a potential retracement so first level is 0 0.236 is where we use to determine uh, the retracement level is started so here's some explanations on the level right here so one gonna be the starting point right of the trend starting point to go down of the trend here you need to be top to the bottom or bottom to the top of the trend right starting point gonna be the level one here so zero is the base right zero is the base right the bottom or the top here is gonna be the base so the first level we mentioned that 0 0.236 whenever it broke up the first level it means at a potential retracement starting all right the second retracement 0 0.382 gonna be a weak retracement level so usually most of the time it's gonna be broken up right for more retracement so 0 0.5 level is a strong level so price normally do uh, rejections from here right and then maybe came back down and then continue pushing up for retracement so 0 0.618 is a golden level we call it a golden level of fibonacci whenever it tap 0 0.618 it can be all right still pushing down from this downtrend maybe made a continuation to the downside right at this point uh 0 0.618 is mean that it's a golden level of fibonacci so if the price break to 6 0 0.618 feet level it means that this retracement can overtake the original trend right whenever the price broke up 0 0.618 uh, it can overtake the original trend which is downtrend so it means that the price can potentially still pushing up and if it break everything here break the starting point it means that the trend turn into an uptrend here right so from the downtrend to the uptrend if it break above the starting point right so the same thing here if we look into the uh, 
uptrend and then we want to see the measurement of the retracement level so whenever it break the first level right here it means that uh it means that the retracement started whenever it break the first level it means retracement started so it can come back up here and then continue to go down maybe towards 0 0.5 right so 0 0.5 for downtrend is also a strong level right same thing as the uptrend the Fibonacci level so 0 0.618 is the golden level and then 0 0.786 is going to be moderate level and then we come to the starting point all right of the trend if the price decided to break everything it means that change of trend right it's trying to go the other way around so this uptrend is broken down and it's is wanted to become a downtrend here right but if the price respected 0.618 for example and then push up it means that a continuation of the trend right if the price continue to go up from the retracement level it means continuations of the trend so as simple as that this is how we uh, really read Fibonacci level and how we do it on trading so we really need to measure from top to bottom so let's read on a chart here so when i use fibonacci i will always use it on a higher time frame which is daily and weekly we want to see a bigger picture so i use it to determine the daily bias where is the trend gonna go today is it gonna be a continuation or a reversal so we use fibonacci as a guideline right to see where is the retracement level at so from here we can see that recently it's actually a downtrend right it's a downtrend right now it's trying to pull up so if you want to measure a downtrend, what we're going to do, all right, back to what we just said, from the top to the bottom, we're going to measure uh, the downtrend. And then from here, we can see that the price is retracing towards uh, the upside here, all right? So whenever it break the first level, whenever it break the first level, which is 0 0.236, it means that the price uh, broken the first level of Fibonacci. And then it means that the retracement started right the first level is gonna be the first retracement level so the retracement started here we guys can see struggling to push up a little bit and then at the end of the day is still break up and then continuation to the upside so 0 0.382 is a weak is a weak level of retracement so that it we can see that the price easily pushes up without much struggle here right so it just pushes up nicely and then uh, whenever the price break one level, right? It breaks 0 0.236, it breaks 0 0.382. So whenever it break up, the resistance, it's supposed to be a resistance here. So it became a support again for it to continue to go up. And this one here also act as a support for it to continue to go up. So the next level gonna be 0 0.5. Let's see uh, what the price give any reactions here right so right you guys can see that the price actually came back down and 0 0.382 and then actually act as a support here and then pushes back up so if we move into daily time frame we can clearly see that the support 0 0.382 so what happened later on so we can see that it reached 0 0.5 here right when it's reached 0 0.5 we have a confluence here so it can be a rejection but it did not right it pushes strongly to the upside so it did not respect 0 0.5 in this case right so not most of the time the level gonna be respected right you need to depend on the momentum and the volume or the day or the week itself so it did not respect 0 0.5 in this case but it came broke up 0 0.382 and then came back down and it acts as a support for it to continue to push up so what we are reaching right now so we are reaching towards 0 0.618 feet level so 0 0.618 feet level is the golden level of retracement so we can expect a rejections here right if you see some daily confirmations all right and then if we can see some confirmations or some, some confluence on the left right we can see that uh, a lot of reactions here as well so we can expect this to retrace if this weekly close bearish 
for the continuation of the downtrend. So let's see what happened after this, all right? So it pushes up and then reject nicely and then continue go down, all right? Pushing strongly and then broke, all right? Broke the base here and then we are actually going down strongly here. So whenever this price broke the base, so we need to measure the Fibonacci again from the top to the bottom to determine the level already, all right? So from the top to the bottom, let's see what we got, right? Let's see what we got at this point, right? It's trying to break the first level of retracement. Uh, when it did not break, it doesn't mean a retracement started yet. So let's see what it break the first level, right? So it break the first level means that the retracement started again of this downtrend. It's trying to retrace again. So it reached 0 0.382. It did not really uh, respect 0 0.382 because 0 0.382 is going to be a weak level of Fibonacci. So it pushes up strongly, right, with a strong momentum. I believe uh, that we can be a strong momentum because of news, because of fundamentals, or because of just simply price actions. So let's see where it's still going right now. So again, all right, see where are we sitting at right now? So we are actually sitting at 0 0.5 FIB level. So 0 0.5 FIB level is a strong Fibonacci level. So we can definitely expect some reactions here. If you see on daily point of view, right, it res uh, respected 0 0.5 so well, and then push down a lot right so when we get the first sign and second sign of reversal then uh the third candlestick here we can actually look for a sell for the continuation to the downside at this point so let's see uh what happened later on right will the price continue to go down or it respect 0 0.382 again right so let's see what is the price doing Right, and whenever it come back to 0 0.382 we can also look for a support down here so we can see that the price uh, respected 0 0.5 FIB level as a resistance and then came back to 0 0.382. Came back to 0 0.382 and 0 0.382 acting as a support right now. All right, 0 0.382 acting as a support here. And let's see what is the price going to do here. All right. So it acts as a support nicely and then pushes the price up back to right back to 0 0.618 feet level so let's observe what happened during the 0 0.618 level so if we move on to daily we can see that the price rejected a lot from 0 0.618 because it's a golden level of fibonacci it's very hard for it to break up right whenever it reached 0 0.618 right it struggles so much to break up because it's a strong fibonacci level it's a golden level of fibonacci so we can see a lot of rejections right but eventually Eventually, the price broken up, came back up, and then respected the 0 0.618 FIB level, and then pushes back up. So it acts as a support, right? It's resistant turn support whenever it pushes back up. So at this point, let's see what is the price going to do at this moment, right? What is the next situation? So the price broken back down, right? So whole thing here became a fake out right fake out from a bigger time frame but if we switch to daily time frame we can see that right it respected few time right trying to break through 0 0.618 again so whenever it break through it means that the price want to continue to go back down so it can be a fake out on this whole right this whole push up right here so it can be a fake out so when i break broke down the 0 0.618 again we can see that the price trying to continue to go down and let's see what happened next right so the price pushes back down and then we can see where the price is landing right the land the price landed at 0 0.5 level again is ranging at this range so respected 0 0.5 and then push back up again to 0 0.618 so we can see that the price have a lot of reactions at this point of view, right? A lot of reactions here. So if we use because uh if we use a smaller picture like a daily time frame, we can determine another trend because right here we can see that what we can see right now is actually uh we have a smaller trend is formed. The downtrend is formed here, right? 
we can also use uh, this basically this one here to measure the Fibonacci right instead of we are using the top from the bottom here we can determine from the other point of view so if we remove everything right now okay we can actually determine from the uptrend here so we form an uptrend during the retracement right we form a small uptrend out of the downtrend from this retracement so from here also we can see that the price broke the first level of Fibonacci so it came back down to a weak uh, level of Fibonacci but it respected it so it respected it and then we can see that the left side we have some confirmations here so it respected it came back up again so if you want to see from a smaller picture again but it need to be from the top to the bottom or the bottom to the top so we can switch on to daily time frame right from daily time frame we can use Fibonacci indicator from the top to the bottom right and see where are we sitting at right now so again the first level is broken it means that the retracement started and then we can see that the price uh right make use of the 0 0.3236 as a support right here nicely and then continue to push up 0 0.5 we have some rejections right here and then came back up almost at 0 0.618 and made a rejection right now so at this point right this is how we're gonna use fibonacci retracement lever any uh, time we want to use it on a bigger picture so i always use it on a daily or weekly chart so we can zoom in the price uh, to see the clearer the current trend so the current trend is actually downtrend retracing toward the upside right so that we want to measure the retracement level here so if we move on to bigger pictures we can actually still use all right from the top to the bottom all right from these bigger pictures or we can use from this downtrend of the these bigger pictures or we can use from the bottom to the top to measure this uptrend so it depends on how you really want to use it but always uh, the correct way is going to be from the top to the bottom or from the bottom to the top and how you determine the lever and how you use the lever to actually help you in trading to help you determine the key lever right here so that's about it uh, about the fibonacci retracement level so if you have any questions feel free to comment in the chat and also right subscribe to the channel and because we do live trading every day and you guys can see how we really use fibonacci level to determine the daily bias on the live trading